So straight after work, I went to Letterkenny to meet up with my best friend, my boyfriend, and a friend of ours. That was the place that we had to get the bus going to the airport in Dublin, which takes about nearly three to four hours. Our flight wasn't on till 6 a.m. in the morning, so we had plenty of time to relax. So I got pretty hungry, so my boyfriend decided to order food online, and of course, for him, hoagie is life. Like, I love hey. Hey. <laughs> Only 20 euros, we also have my iPhone. Also, on charge your headphones and much more. We'll detail some prices about our brothers. After we landed, we got our luggages and we went outside to get our bus tickets to Port Malio. It takes about an hour and 30 minutes, I think, from the airport to Port Malio. So at this time, I was so busy trying to film them going into the metro and the door closed on me. I got squished between two doors, but I managed to survive, not dead. Am I right? Our hotel was just right outside the subway, so it was pretty cool. We didn't have to walk far to look for a hotel, so that was really handy. So we are currently here in our hotel and the freaking elevator is so tiny so this is our room we have our two single beds wardrobe table balcony. a balcony this is our view uh, a toilet so cute By the way, this onion soup that my boyfriend ordered is the bomb. It has a lot of cheese in it. And of course, I'm the girlfriend. I had to steal some soup from him because cheese is life. I found this ice cream cafe and the ice cream was just so amazing. I got to taste the mango macaroon. It was just the best macaroon I've ever tasted in my whole entire life. Also, we met a really, really nice lady in the cafe and she spoke English. She took a picture of my ice cream as well before I ate it. So she's so sweet and funny. She looked lost like we are. So it was so nice to be able to relate with someone who is in the same situation as you are. Just a random conversation between the two of them. Oh, let's do our vlog, bro. Let's do our vlog. Oh, we're just here in Paris, guys. Oh, uh, that's right. Uh, checking out the local cuisine and stuff. You know, it's uh, been amazing, guys. Yeah, just, just telling you guys that uh, <laughs> it's uh, this, this this experience we're having right now. It's, it's uh, unbelievable. It's unbelievable. It's it's it's, it's amazing. It's uh, bitch, you know. fantastic. It's fantastic. That's that's right. Guys. It's amazing. It's a. Uh, oh wait, Laura. She turned red now. She, she she's turning red. Sub doors. You were like on your face. I was kind of like. That's right. <laughs> what she do? That was really simple. That's how we met. That's how we met. Um, we're just here in our hotel. And my eyeball is literally so red. I think it's from the lack of sleep. And today I nearly died in the metro. Twice. First. You were too busy vlogging. I was too bu busy vlogging. To notice the doors closing mm -hmm. on you. <laughs> you didn't see it coming, like you didn't you were I was like <laughs> But we nearly got trapped outside the I mean, train. Yeah. The train was gonna leave you. If like you hadn't gone forward, if you'd have gone backwards, I could have. You would have been, been like, we would have been waiting. Go back. But then they gave me a chance, though. It opened like, freaking three times. Because <laughs> <I'm> giving <laughs> me a chance to come in. Probably. <laughs>
Do it again. <laughs> Second time I tripped because I forgot that there was like a step <laughs> into the train. So it just looks like you're winking the camera. Right So I was able to taste nails for the first time and it was quite good but the aftertaste was very grassy so I'm not sure how to feel about it but I know that I would eat snails again no problem um, there's a certain tool to pick up the snails I'm not really sure what you call it I wasn't very good at using it like I was literally struggling to use it I was very shocked at how the snails looked like <laughs> That's it, you're So at the end of the night after our dinner, Oren decided to bring us to this Seisha place. Um, yeah, it was pretty chill. And the owner of this Seisha place was so entertaining. He gave us a really, really good service. He made me a really nice non-alcoholic cocktail. And it was such a fun experience. So if it floats your boat, this is where you can chill out. And that was the end of the first day <laughs> adventures here in Paris. So I hope you like the video and thanks for watching. Mm.